Question 5 comes from Vancouver, Canada. Can nail primer be used as a bonding layer for UV gels? Some use primer pen on the natural nail, and then they apply the builder gel. Does the nail primer have to be specifically formulated for the product? Well, there are several questions here, but I'll try to address them all. First, I don't recommend primer pens, since these are multi-use devices that can be con become contaminated with nail oils and affect adhesion. In my view, it's better use a brush and a bottle, and that should be disposed of after use and not refilled. Refilling only allows more oily contaminants to be transferred from the nail plate to the brush and into the product container itself, where they'll build up over time. Won't really be a fact of uh, cause a problem unless you're refilling your container. Now, second. Some UV gel companies require a nail bonder or primer layer, which improves the adhesion of the nail coating. Of course, it's easy to see that too little adhesion causes lifting problems, but nail professionals often don't stop to think about what problems are caused by too much adhesion. This makes removal even more difficult, time-consuming, and therefore can increase the risk of nail damage related to the removal process. Besides overfiling the nail plate, improper removal is a top cause of nail damage for clients. Since many become so impatient and they, they use forceful techniques to remove the nail coatings. Now, when this occurs, many trick their customers into thinking their nails are just dry, when really the surfaces of the nail plates are damaged due to improper removal. But here's my main point. If the directions for the UV gel don't specifically mention the use of a nail primer, then a primer should not be used. In fact, many times, nail primer is nothing more than a crutch that hides improper techniques, usually application or prep techniques, cleaning the nail plate improperly. Often a nail tech's job, uh, often nail techs do a poor job preparing the nail plate, or they incorrectly apply the product, or they'll improperly cure with the wrong lamp. All of these can result in premature loss of adhesion, which we call lifting. In this case, the solution is not to use a primer. Instead, the best solution for the client is to correct these issues that are causing the nail coating to lift. Now, what about using a nail primer with UV gels that don't require the use of a primer in their directions or instructions? This should not be done, since this can create excessive adhesion. When adhesion becomes excessive, the nail coating will be much more difficult to remove and more time cons consuming. And we all know what happens then. To save time, many nail, coating, nail, nail technicians will just forcibly remove the nail coating, which leads to nail plate thinning, pitting, splits at the free edge, cracks, peeling at the free edge, and even surface white spots. So we want to be really careful uh, to avoid these problems by not forcefully removing the coating. If a UV gel product was not specifically designed to be used with a specific nail primer, then a nail primer should not be used. Instead, it's wiser for the nail professional to seek out the reason for the low adhesion and solve those problems. Maybe the client's nails need more careful cleaning and preparation. Or perhaps the nail professional needs to invest in purchasing and using the correct nail lamp, the one designed for the use with that particular UV gel. Or maybe they should take a manufacturer's class to learn proper application and removal techniques. What nail professionals should avoid is willfully and intentionally misusing products. Nail technicians are entirely responsible for their actions and any harm they cause to their clients' nails by inappropriate actions. Making up their own procedures and ignoring directions is a common reason for nail problems and damage. Primers are often needed to correct problems created by incorrect use. Instead, focus on solving these problems. For instance, a nail primer may improve adhesion when the nail coatings aren't fully cured, but then a nail technician or the client could develop allergic reactions to improperly cured dust. A nail technician is maybe not likely to realize they're improperly curing, so they won't take any steps to solve the real problem. I understand the science and chemistry of these products well enough to know what can happen, and I recommend caution. Most nail technicians don't have this knowledge, yet they make up their own directions and instructions anyway. 
This is one of the greatest challenges facing the nail industry and a leading reason why many women are afraid to go to nail salons and refuse the, to get nail services. <clears throat> Improper use of nail coatings is the main reason why the nail industry isn't growing and attracting more customers. So please do your part to use these coatings correctly and keep your clients' nails healthy and happy.